It is so easy to create a PDF document. Almost all programs now that allow you to create regular documents will allow you to export to PDF, save as PDF, and if they don't, you can still print to a PDF. So creating PDFs is no problem. Where the problem comes is trying to edit your PDFs. So what I'm going to do is show you three ways to edit PDFs files for free in Linux Mint. So the first program is Inkscape, and you can download this from the software manager. Now, if I take a PDF file and I just drop it on, it's going to ask me all or select certain pages. I'm going to select all, and I get one page. I just get the first page. So let's do it a different way. Let's go file, open, and do it this way. All pages. And there they are. There's all the pages. So you can't just drop a PDF file onto Inkscape and have them all open up. So here we are uh, horizontally. Now, if you, here's the one thing about it. If you select the uh, type tool and you go here to each sentence, the limitation is it will allow you to edit these lines, but what it won't do, it won't recognize paragraphs. In other words, let's say this line here. If I delete this and I try to hit the delete button and have the next line go up, it won't go up. So basically, it's, it, it's limited to just editing certain lines of text. And then, um, for instance, if, if you want to, uh, you know, edit a paragraph and move these around, you really can't. I mean, you could edit it and then take the line and move it this way. Um, you know, you can do it that way, but you, it just won't recognize paragraphs. So, I mean, it's it's fine for doing a minimal amount of changes. Uh, maybe um, if you have some, like, words that are misspelled or something, or if you want to delete you know, full whole lines and then just move certain lines around. You can do that. I can move this line up here or whatever. But as far as editing paragraphs, it won't do that. You'll have to do it manually. I mean, it's, you can still do it. It's just going to be a little more um, laborious that way. But it will allow you to do changes. So I can I can edit this. Um, I can make this bigger. I mean, it's not it's not great. It's got some quirks. But um, it will do it. You're just going to have to play around quite a bit. Now, one of its big limitations here also is if I want to, let's say I made changes to this page right here, and I want to export the whole document. I have to go to File, Export, and then over to the right, you'll see it says I changed this to PDF. And then up here, it says Page, Export Selected Only. But I don't want to. I want to select all pages. But here's the deal. I can't. It'll only let me select certain pages. You see right here where it says page 2, page 3, 4. Now I can go to batch export. So I can select all of them. Go down here to PDF. And hit. Um, I change this to export. Let's hit export. And then export. And let me show you what happens here. I get six PDFs, all separate pages. So basically what it boils down to is the fact that Inkscape will edit your PDF files. You can uh, change fonts, you can move lines around and whatnot, uh, but it's really made for, uh, it only works best for single page PDFs. So you can export, you can make the changes to a single page PDF, export it, and it does a great job. So anyways, Inkscape, great program, just some limitations editing. So the next one is called PhotoP. Now this is an online piece of software. You go to PhotoP.com. And when you get your window here, all you have to do is take your PDF and drag it right onto the screen. And then it puts them across horizontally, just like it did in Inkscape. Now there's no horizontal bar on the bottom. So in order, in order to go back and forth with these, you have to uh, take this rectangle selection tool and go back and forth like this. Uh, well, actually, let me zoom in and show you. So here I am. If I want to go to a different page, I kind of have to take this and drag it across here because that's just the way that, that this works. There may be a setting here somewhere that I'm missing to be able to bring up the horizontal 
uh, scroll back and forth, but I haven't been able to find it. Now, when it defines, it will define paragraphs here, but let me show you how it does it. Let's take the type tool and then go ahead and select. Now, you see what it did? It selected a paragraph. Uh, if I do it again, I have to switch back to the move tool, back to the type tool, and then here. So it will select certain sections. Uh, I'm not sure what criteria it uses. It might just be because I have highlighted text here, a uh, bold text. And so it may be defining certain bold text. It won't let me edit the whole page, you know, as a page, but it will let me change, uh, you know, paragraphs. So if I go here, so I can take like this paragraph, I can move it down. I can take this heading, move it, you know, move it around. So I can do lots of different things with this and I can do it by paragraph. So it does fairly well. It does a good job of editing. I can uh, change the text. I can change the font and things like that. So, um, yeah, it does a, does a fairly good job. It's just a little bit, um, it's a little bit quirky sometimes in the way that it defines paragraphs and stuff. I mean, I can change the font. I can do all kinds of things here and that. So, uh, yeah, it does work. It works well. Um, you can edit the PDF. And then when you want to export, let's say I make all these changes. Let's do some drastic ones here. Let's move all this stuff around like that. And so I hear, I'm here on page five. So if I go up to file, export as PDF. And you'll notice it exports it as a PDF file with all my changes. Let's go ahead and save this. And there we are. So you go down here and it, there's all my edits. <laughs> so it will uh, it will make the changes. It will do the edits and it does a fairly good job, I think. So, uh, yeah, it it's just quirky in the way that it defines certain paragraphs. But I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I can I can work around that because, I mean, at least I can edit the paragraphs. I can, uh, you know, when I, like when I hit delete, see, it'll move the it'll move the letters up. So it knows that it's a paragraph, which is kind of nice. And then I can export it. So it's a good program. I use it quite a bit, uh, not just for PDFs, but um, using it for graphics too. So it's a great program. And then the third program comes pre-installed in Linux Mint. It's called LibreOffice Draw. And it's quirky also in the way that if you take a PDF file and drop it on, you just get a single page. You get the first page. I get the cover page. But if I go to File, Open, and open it that way, you'll see we get all the pages. Why programs are like that, I have no clue. But it um, it just likes to file open better. So uh, I have all my pages here. Now, also, just like editing with Inkscape, it does single lines as well. So if you want to make a change to a single line, you can do it. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't recognize paragraphs, just like Inkscape does. Um, I won't go through and bore you with all of it because it basically it operates the same way Inkscape does. But there is one great thing about this is when you make your changes, you can export it. And it will export all of the pages. And there's all the pages. So to recap, uh, Inkscape, edit by line, only single lines only, uh, export to single pages. So it works great if you're just working on a single page document. Uh, LibreOffice Draw uh, also uh, only edits by line, but you can export all of the pages. And then uh, my vote goes to PhotoP because PhotoP uh, does let you edit paragraphs and it will also uh, export the whole document. So if you're working on multiple pages, you can export it. So anyway, so yeah, Photo Peak gets my vote. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. All right, we'll catch you later.